Hi, my name is Rebecca Kisidu, aka Mrs. Kiss, and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, um, how are you? So uh, today, I want us to talk about being yourself, you know. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, but every time I try to do it, then I'm like, well, there's too many people doing videos, pe too many people talking about different things. There's really not much, you know, but um, it just occurred to me that I have to be myself. And so that is what we're gonna do, being yourself. And this is particularly interesting because it applies to me. And I feel like just sharing it with everybody out there, you know, cause um, really I love to talk. And so this is like my area, that my arena. And so I'm excited to bring in these videos where we talk about everything, relationship, and um, from birth to death. Cause you never know. I mean, there's all kinds of things in between that and um, Death is a, somebody would say, why are you talking about death? But death is an interesting thing. I like death. But anyway, that's beside the point. But anyway, be yourself. Be yourself. You know, there is somebody out there who likes you just the way you are. There's somebody out there who will adore you. So coming out to be just who God made you to be is your biggest asset. It's your biggest asset. Don't try to be intimidated by anything around you, especially when I wanted to do this video. I was like, oh, well, you know, there are so many people doing it. They are doing it so nicely. And I look and I admire them and I listen to them and I admire what they say and I enjoy the topics. But there will be somebody out there too that would also like the content that I'm about to offer or the things that I like to talk about. And we all gravitate, gravitate towards us gravitate towards different things we all draw to different strengths different um, vibes and so whatever god has placed in you it's important for you to unleash it to let it come out and flourish it is in being yourself that you actually find your purpose it is in being yourself that you can actually accept love it is being yourself that can make you actually see your own strength and your own weaknesses. It is in being yourself that you can move from one level to another. So the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, I think Paul was talking to um, Timothy and was saying that you have to show yourself approved to God, a workman who does not need to be ashamed. So there is something, and you know, when you go on further, it says that rightfully dividing the word of truth. But there is something in you that you should not be ashamed of. God created you and God put something good in you. You should not be ashamed. As a child of God, as anybody that has been created on this earth, you are God's workmanship. You are God's thing that he made. God made you and put something good in you. The Bible says in um, Genesis chapter 1 down there, I think verse 30 down there, it says that when God had finished everything, he says that it was good. When God finished everything, when God finished creation, he said that it was good. So there's something good in you that you need not to be ashamed of. If you're introvert, yes, you are. If you're extrovert like me, yes. If you're talky talky, you're talky talky. That's who you are. Somebody's gonna love you. I remember when my husband were talking the other day and he was like, I was like, what you really liked about me when you first saw me? It's like your perkiness. Or, you know, because if you know me, you know that I'm really like, bloop, 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 bloop. and that's what he likes. So guess what? If I really was checking my husband out before he checked me out, which I wasn't, <laughs> then I would have tried to, you know, be this, you know, lady, lady like and doing this and doing that. And that probably wouldn't have attracted him to me. He liked me in my natural self where I wasn't even looking. So being yourself is very, very important. Being yourself brings you different things. It makes you, you know, accept love. I was talking about that earlier. You be, because people will love you just the way you are. And so you don't have to try and then you, have, you don't have to keep pace. You don't have to try to fit into a box that you have created. You just get to be you all your life. Plus, being yourself is quite easy than try to be a photocopy of somebody. So you need to be yourself, especially our young ladies coming up and all of us even growing up, we struggle sometimes with different things, especially when you see somebody doing the same things you're doing and then you're like, oh yeah, I can, you, I can be like this, I can do that. It's great, it's great to learn and to take tips and to advance and to go on, but being authenticated to your true fabric is very important. 
is so important. You cannot live as a photocopy of somebody. That's not going to yield any results. That's actually going to, you know, in a way it, it dishonors God because you're trying to say that whatever God has put in you is not as good or, you know, you don't appreciate that. But it's very important when God, you know, just like manufacturers, when they manufacture something, they manufacture it for consumers, for a particular need. So when God created you, he created you for a particular purpose, for a particular need. There is something in this life, the people around you from the time when you're born to the time when you are, you know, you die to you know fulfill and there are particular people who will need the stuff that you are made of so honey don't be afraid guy my guy don't be afraid though don't be afraid to be yourself girlfriend go ahead and be yourself be all that you are of course as Christians, and I always admonish Christians and people who are coming up to always bear in mind, though, that we are trying to be like Christ. And so on that note, I will end here and we'll go on to our next topic. Meet me next time as we dive into things that pertain to life. Thank you and bye. Subscribe. Subscribe.